Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Thanks for stopping by. So today I am with Katie. Katie. And we are literally just finishing up dance concert. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I'm gonna make really? it. Really? Yeah, we're really done up for this interview. Um, but today we're talking to Katie. She's a sophomore and she's a PA major, right? Yeah. Um, so it's a little different from all my other interviews because I've been mainly interviewing seniors. So we're gonna get to hear from somebody else who isn't a senior and is more of like an underclassman. So this is perfect for you guys that are thinking about coming here. So Katie, tell me a little bit about your major. Okay, so I'm in the five year physician assistant program. Okay. So when I graduate, I'll have a master's and a bachelor's okay. in physician assistant studies. And um, it's rigorous and hard, mm -hmm. but so far I've been able to keep up with doing stuff I like, like cheer and dance. Okay, so the transition, transition into um, yeah college it was really hard because like I had senioritis mm -hmm. my senior year I never studied mm -hmm. never for a test ever it was kind of just busy work but as soon as I went into freshman year I really had to time management mm -hmm. and like get myself to sit down and figure out how to study for my class right like, so scheduling is like really important yeah so what's it like you said you're on a five-year program what's it like juggling that? Do you go to your advisor a lot? Like, how does that work? Um, yeah, we we stay in touch with our, our advisor because we have to make sure that we maintain the right GPA mm -hmm. for science in every class. Mm -hmm. um, but it's kind of fun because we can schedule liberal arts classes too, mm -hmm. so it's not just all science. Right. We have a little bit of fun. Mm -hmm. So, after you graduate, what is something that you're, what yeah. will you do like after you graduate? So, I'm hoping to work in a private practice for a pediatrician. Okay. So I'll just work under the doctor. Mm -hmm. And I love kids, so mm -hmm. I really, really that love would work for them. Yeah. Yeah. So what has, you know, you still have so many memories to make, but what's your like favorite memory as of right now? Oh boy. I think honestly the dance concert yeah. is my favorite memory because I danced all throughout. I mean, elementary school, middle school, high school, and then it was like coming to college. I thought I wasn't going to be able to do it anymore. So did you have to try out for dance concert? Like, how does that work? Yeah, so you audition for the dance concert. Mm -hmm. um, just a normal dance audition. Okay. So if you're, lots of extracurriculars going on at Seton Hill, lots of arts, the arts here are awesome. So if you're into that, you should definitely think about coming and taking a visit here because the arts here are amazing. Okay, so that is everything, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you out a little bit if you're thinking about becoming a PA major. What is, <laughs> what is any advice you can give them? Um, I would advise you to just make sure you apply early to every PA school that you want to get into. And um, for your undergrad years, study hard, get into a good study habit, because once you get to grad school, you really have to have it down. Thank you for watching. I hope we helped you guys out a lot. And we'll talk to you guys very soon. Hope to see you guys on a visit here. And until next time, go Griffs. Thanks, guys.